right, ladies and gents, today is the day. Let's go get that 37 Pontiac. You're watching Lambinsky's Garage. Let's get it. Well, here she is, the 1937 Pontiac Silver Streak. Quite the barn find, probably one of my favorites. I haven't seen one this nice in quite some time. You see 37 Fords and 37 Chevrolets all the time, but a Pontiac? You even see Buicks, but not Pontiacs. She's got the side valve engine, is what they call them, instead of a flathead. Let's check out the inside of this thing, too. It's just super, super original. One little dink over there in the top of the seat. Door panels are in fantastic shape. The whole car is just absolute dream. To me, this rack really makes it too. It is super cool. That Coker tires on it. He said the starter's acting up. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna try to drag it with the tractor, make it run, and just drive it on the trailer. What do you need a winch for when you can drive them? So, there's a whole bunch of cool stuff around here. He's got all the neat stuff. But man, this thing is just spectacular. A hundred mile an hour spinometer in 1937. Can you believe that? This thing is just sweet. The trailer doesn't come with it, but that's okay. Hopefully we'll have her ready by the 4th of July parade. But anyways... Let's get that tractor and get this thing running. Alrighty, let's get our drug out of there. Little Pharma will do the job, they always do. Look at that, she's in the light of day. Well, we'll get reattached and drag this bad boy. All right, Farmer Jim's on the, on the tractor. Looking up slack. Here's a temp number two at getting her started. Take up the slack, there we go. Think, oh, the lights were on. Lights came on. She don't want to pull. That's okay, we got a few more tricks. Try her again.
Oh, she's trying. You hear that? We got some smoke. Oh, she's trying hard. Man. Well, would you look at that, our very own barn find, and it's on its way home. And you guessed it. We're at Winco again. Gotta get Chicken and Joe's for the ride home. But when we get home, let's get this thing cleaned up and make her run. I believe it will. All right, ladies and gents, we got her offloaded. Let's get this thing cleaned up. Once again, I'm using some 30 second outdoor cleaner to get all this green off, but I cut it with water and Dawn dish soap. Let's get this thing cleaned up. Would you look at that? That is a gorgeous blue. Holy cats. Well, there's no movie magic there. That's, I sprayed that stuff on, and then I just used turtle wax, uh, car soap, and a mint. And this is what we came out with. I mean, you saw the green on here. Look at that. So, Let's just do a little side-by-side -side comparison because this back hatch is green. I'm going to set you guys up and we'll do half of it and show you what this stuff does. There you have it. What do you think of that? Man. It definitely needs to be gone over again, but 
Holy cow, what a survivor car. This thing is just beautiful. Turned out nice, I am way happy with that. Huh, well, now let's really get to the part that you guys have been waiting for. Let's make it run. All right, the moment I've all been waiting for. I've all been waiting for? Correct. Oh. Turn on the key. Keys on. No power getting to the starter. Hmm. Let me try this. <laughs> Can you pull the choke? Uh, is the far one the choke? I don't know. Pull it. <laughs> no, I mean pull it before you hit the key. I'm not hitting the key. You're hitting the key. I didn't hit the key. I'm not touching shit. It was you. Is that is it that pull switch? I guess. Okay, we'll find another one that pulls and it's the choke. That there, that's the choke. Okay, now pull that switch with the key on. Okay, hold it. Let me see if she's got any spark. She's awful wet under here. Oh god. Okay, roll it over. Key on? Okay, do it again. Okay, hold it. There's very little spark. Turn the key off. Okay. Let me clean them points a little bit. Okay. All right, points are cleaned up. Let's give her a shot. It's got spark. Okay. Not great. Ready? Yeah. Got some fuel. I got the throttle. Go ahead. Okay. Want me to choke it still? I don't know. Try it. <laughs> choke it. Take choke off. Okay. Okay. I think those points are shitty. Yeah. They're not consistent. So. I'll check the spark again. Hang on. Okay. Oh, plus the fucker wasn't going in the cap right. All right, try it now. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay, try and start it now. Choke off. Okay. Shut her off. Give us a little ether. Okay, give her a... Give her a little bit of throttle. No choke. Give her a try. Try again. 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 It needs a little drink of gas. Yeah. Yeah. And get you the tin. Huh? And get you the deal. Well, yeah, just something to dump some down there. Turn the key off. It is. 
All right, we'll try some gas down the car. See if that does anything. Ready? Just about. All right, go ahead. <laughs> It just doesn't have good enough spark. Yeah. Turn well, the turn the key off. Yep. Sounds like we said it need a set of points. All right, points have been filed. They're going back in. And, well, let's see if third time's the charm. I got the throttle. You got everything? Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. Find up them points and she's purring like a Swiss watch. <laughs> That's sweet. Yep, oil pressure looks good. Oh yeah. Ha, huh. wow. Now that ain't cool. I don't know what is. Look at that. What a peach. Now she's inside on the left and we can get a good inspection of what's underneath. Don't beam me up, Scotty. Oh, wait, I'm the only one here. I guess I gotta do it myself. Well, let's take a look underneath this fine automobile from the 1930s. Oh, yep, that checks out as a 30s repair. Transmission, man. You know, some of this stuff really hasn't changed in like a hundred years. Close to anyways. That's the battery box. Man, it is clean under here. Super, super not rusty at all. Wow. This thing just keeps getting better all the time. It looks like it had a muffler and tailpipe at one time. Seemed to have done an okay job. Yeah, this car is just incredible. One of the nicest 30s cars I have ever seen. This is a true survivor. Wow. Well, there's pretty much the underside of this thing. She looks pretty good. She, she's definitely an oil leaker, but man, what isn't anymore? Let's get her down and wrap this up. Well, I was walking around to let her down. I'm on the passenger side. The tire keeps going flat. And look at that. That's probably why. Don't, don't, don't look at that. Just look at that. See? That's an air leak. And these tires have tubes in them. So, the tubes are bad. The tires are bad. But, you know, we're just not going to worry about it. Get this thing on the ground and go hit the road. You know, I almost forgot one of the most important things when buying a used vehicle that hasn't ran in whoever knows how long. You need to check what's in the trunk. So, 
Let's do that. See what's in here. Oh, there. Oh, she leaks a little. Looks like some manuals, a glove box, a spare tire. Oh, look at that hubcaps. Well, let's take a look see. So, some of the contents of what's back here, I think you guys are really going to like. And look at this. The user's guide for the 1937 Pontiac. And it is in pretty dang good shape. There's a lot of stuff in here, too. It's just tells you how to save fuel, how to clean the interior. Look at this. Speed, up to 400 miles, not to exceed 40 miles an hour. That's just crazy all different things do not pump the accelerator pedal hmm all right there's that there's a cool old pontiac license plate trim this is all the stuff to put the original headlight glass in the ones that are really dished out instead of more flat now these are super cool too i've seen stuff kind of like this on model a's but they were just to make it like a dual pla dual pane so it doesn't fog up. But this is a defogger that I, I don't really know how it works. But it's electric and it's supposed to defrost your windows. And that's just crazy. I've never seen one of those. Maybe I just don't get out enough. But <laughs> there's a... Parts catalog, 26 to 58 Pontiac. There's the shop manual, 3738 Pontiac. I haven't gone through the glove box yet. Take a look at these awesome hubcaps. Man, those would shine up pretty good. I think there's only three of them, though. He said they kind of like to fly off if you're not careful. Now, he also had this back here. This used to be the guy's daily driver, and he didn't like these little tail lights because they're really hard to see. So we had this on the back, and that's a pretty old light in itself. But let's get that glove box out and go through it too. Would you look at that? This is all the contents of what was inside of the glove box. That glove box is actual mole hair, which they did back in the day. Here's the glove box cover. There's the clock. He said he took it out because the glass was broke, I think. The blinker assembly. I think that might have been some sort of ashtray or something or cover or maybe for coins. I don't, I don't know. There's fuses. Boy, they, there was a couple of starter solenoids in there. The other thing I saw is here's the crank if you need to crank start it. And there's the old fuel sending unit. Now look at that. How it's cork. Huh. That's just crazy. Well, the other thing I wanted to show you. I don't think I showed you since we cleaned this car up. But these beautiful stickers. Idaho. Coeur d'Alene. Montana. Mount Hood. I don't think those are original stickers. I think those are probably repops, but man, they look so cool. Make this car look so good. Well, all right. Now, let's get this video wrapped up. Well, fellers and fellettes, I think this is going to be it for this video. I just want to thank you all again for watching, subscribing, commenting. I try to read and reply to all your comments that I can, so keep them coming. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did, because this car is just fantastic. And I really hope you're wanting to see more of it, because I'm really wanting to do more videos of it. The plan is to get this thing ready for the 4th of July parade, which is in, like, two and a half weeks. So I don't think it'll take that much, but... Anyways, that's going to wrap it up on this 1937 Pontiac Silver Streak Barn Find. As always, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.
Thank you.